Hi guys, Max Perez here. Today we're gonna go over these two items, the Digital Octopus Wireless Pro and the Wired Pro. Uh, both uh, great systems uh, to convert your Android head unit into Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. So the first thing we're gonna do is identify your system, make sure that you have Android installed. Just because your car has a screen, a touch screen does not mean it's Android based. Uh, the, the best way to tell if it's Android based is by going into your main menu on, the, on your head unit and see if you have either Google Chrome, uh, the Google app or the Play Store. So these are three uh, giveaways. That, that would tell you that this is a, a Google based phone. Uh, you will need the Google Chrome because uh, we need a web browser so we can go ahead and download the app that needs to go on the system. Um, you will not find this in the Google store or, or any other store. It has to be downloaded from that link. Uh, the uh, link is right on the box in the back here and in the wireless pro is in the front. So let's go ahead and let's get started and uh, I'll show you how this works. Okay, so now that that's out of the way, let me show you how to download the app, which is the first step so we can get started. So we're gonna go into apps, and like I mentioned before, you're gonna need uh, Google Chrome or the Google app, whichever one, and we're gonna open it up, and we're gonna type in that address that is right on the box. Okay, so the address, I'm gonna write it right here on the screen. Uh, we're gonna start with HTTP. So now we have our address up here and we're gonna click on enter and you should see a message uh, come up saying that Google Chrome needs a storage access to download this file uh, we're gonna click on continue and we're gonna click allow and we're just gonna download it so now I know it's gonna go right into my downloads folder so we're gonna give it a, a few so it could download you can always see the progress in the progress bar depending on the head unit that you're on. So if you just download and it's ready. So we're gonna click on that and we're gonna change the settings here. And we're gonna just turn this on. For some of you, uh, this will not show up because if you downloaded things before and you installed this, installed all the apps from the Google Store, it's gonna, or from Chrome itself, it's gonna ask you to allow this. So just let's just allow it from this source and we're gonna install. Okay, so now that the app is installed, you're gonna get some messages and we're just gonna click okay. And we're gonna click on okay again. We're gonna click on done. So now if you go back to your home screen, you should be able to see this app called Auto Kit. This is the app that's gonna run your USB dongle. So uh, now we can go ahead and connect our USB dongle. And we're gonna go back here. We're gonna click on Auto Kit. And we're gonna do the initial setup. Let's click on allow 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 now it's asking me to connect the phone okay so now I'm gonna grab my phone and we're gonna go into settings and we're gonna go into Bluetooth and we're gonna search for auto kit zero beat 25 all the dongles have a different number so just make sure you're connected to the correct one so we're probably gonna be at the bottom 0B25 right here so plug it into that so now it's connected 
and uh, as you can see, it's gonna start up right away. There you go. Okay, so now that we are connected, you can actually go ahead and shut off your phone, or if you wanna do something else on your phone, this is still gonna be there. And it's, it's an extension of your phone, so it's not a mirror. So we're gonna, we can actually take this off and now we can navigate the system itself. So right here we have our GPS and when you click on it, it's gonna open uh, either ways, whatever map you have set up here is gonna show up. Uh, see, you gotta, it's, this is the status on my phone, so my battery's running low, as you can see right here. With the time, everything is synced up. Uh, if you wanna make a phone call, you can just go into phone call and uh, all the numbers will be here. It's just like your phone. So if you go to recent, contacts, keypad, you have your keypad and your voicemails. And uh, you can actually listen to them. Okay, so we're gonna go into the next screen. So uh, we have our phone, music, so whatever music you have saved on your, on your device is gonna show up here. So we're gonna just keep scrolling. Uh, we have our messages. Messages, you won't be able to read what the messages say, uh, but it will read it to you. So what's the difference between the wireless and the wired? Obviously the name says it, the wireless. Uh, you can connect your phone wirelessly to your device. Uh, this only works with iPhones. The wireless part only works with iPhone. If you have an Android and you want Android Auto, this will work, but not wirelessly. You will have to physically plug in a USB and I'll show you the Android uh, system. And I'll show you how that works in a second. So let me go ahead and switch my phone and I'll show you how, guys how this works. So we're back in our home screen now. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect my USB uh, to the USB port on the actual dongle, this uh, female port, and we're gonna connect into the Android phone here. You should see the charge uh, button, so it's charging, and um, the app should come right up automatically. If it doesn't come up the first time, you can go ahead and launch it. Uh, manually but as you can see it'll, it'll launch up automatically it takes a few seconds depending on the speed on your, off your phone this is a real uh, cheap phone 20 bucks and uh, just bought it for testing purposes all right so now that that's loaded you can actually uh, turn your uh, phone off and we're gonna put a password here Okay, so this is our Android phone again. And again, uh, the apps that you have here will reflect on your system, uh, depending if they're compatible. So now, uh, we, I can actually turn this off. Again, you could do whatever you want on this end. So we're gonna close this phone here. And now most of those apps are already in our system here. Uh, again, uh, not all apps are compatible, just the ones that are compatible with Android Auto in this case. Down here you have the Google button, so that's the one uh, when you say, hey Google, it'll come up and, and, uh, and it'll show up, as you can see, uh, the magic words, uh, cancel. Uh, the next one is your notification, so if you have any notification, you can uh, see it there. Over here you have a link. Uh, to your maps and this will be kind of like the home button uh, the exit button here will take you back to your main menu and then it has some apps like uh, YouTube music but of course you need subscriptions for that for it to work and then uh, you know all the, all the Google services if, if you download uh, uh, Spotify Pandora XM radio in the phone it'll automatically show up here so now we're just gonna go into the uh, home screen and uh, we're gonna exit and it'll take you back to your main menu on your radio. 
I hope you guys uh, like this product and uh, give it a try. Uh, also, this other this other brands out there and. Um, the process is gonna be different. They're pretty much the same, but their process is gonna be different on how you install the app into the system. Uh, for you guys that do not have an Android radio, there's still hope for you because they sell another unit that connects, that integrates into your radio if you really want that. But you know, we're talking about uh, two, $300 and up. Uh, which uh, is probably not worth it. It's probably just better if you just switch out to an Android radio with the CarPlay built in, or you know, if you find the cheap Android radio and then just get the dongle, that works as well too. So you can have the CarPlay or Android Auto, whichever one you prefer on your system. So hope that helps. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Don't forget to click that like button and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram, Digital Octopus Radio and uh, visit our website, digitaloctopusradio.com, where we make these radios uh, for Gen 5 Camaros. That's uh, 2010 to 2015. Uh, have a good one.